Chapter 36 It happened in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, that this word came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Take a scroll of a book, and write therein all the words that I have spoken to you against Israel, and against Judah, and against all the nations, from the day I spoke to you, from the days of Josiah even to this day. It may be that the house of Judah will hear all the evil which I purpose to do to them, that they may turn every man from his evil way, that I may forgive their iniquity and their sin. Then Jeremiah called Baruch the son of Neriah, and Baruch wrote from the mouth of Jeremiah all the words of the Lord which he had spoken to him on a scroll of a book. Jeremiah commanded Baruch, saying, I am shut up, I can't go into the house of the Lord. Therefore you go, and read in the scroll, which you have written from my mouth, the words of the Lord, in the ears of the people in the Lord's house, on the fast day. And also you shall read them in the ears of all Judah, who come out of their cities. It may be they will present their supplication before the Lord, and will turn every one from his evil way. For great is the anger and the wrath that the Lord has pronounced against this people. Baruch the son of Neriah did according to all that Jeremiah the prophet commanded him, reading in the book the words of the Lord in the Lord's house. Now it happened in the fifth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, in the ninth month, that all the people in Jerusalem, and all the people who came from the cities of Judah to Jerusalem, proclaimed a fast before the Lord. Then read Baruch in the books the words of Jeremiah in the house of the Lord, in the chamber of Gemariah the son of Shaphan the scribe, in the upper court, at the entry of the new gate of the Lord's house, in the ears of all the people. When Micaiah the son of Gemariah the son of Shaphan had heard out of the book all the words of the Lord, he went down into the king's house, into the scribe's chamber, and behold, all the princes were sitting there, Elisha the scribe, and Deliah the son of Shemaiah, and Elnathan the son of Akbor, and Gemariah the son of Shaphan, and Zedekiah the son of Hananiah, and all the princes. Then Micaiah declared to them all the words that he had heard, when Baruch read the books in the ear of the people. Therefore all the princes sent Jehudai the son of Nethaniah, the son of Shalamiah, the son of Cushai, to Baruch, saying, Take in your hand the scroll which you have read in the ears of the people, and come. So Baruch, the son of Neriah, took the scroll in his hand and came to them. They said to him, Sit down now and read it in our ears. So Baruch read it in their ears. Now it happened, when they had heard all the words, they turned in fear one toward another and said to Baruch, we will surely tell the king of all these words. They asked Baruch, saying, Tell us now, how did you write all these words at his mouth? Then Baruch answered them, He pronounced all these words to me with his mouth, and I wrote them with ink in the book. Then said the princes to Baruch, Go, hide you and Jeremiah, and let no man know where you are. They went in to the king into the court, but they had laid up the scroll in the chamber of Elishama the scribe, and they told all the words in the ears of the king. So the king sent Jehudai to get the scroll, and he took it out of the chamber of Elishama the scribe. Jehudai read it in the ears of the king, and in the ears of all the princes who stood beside the king. Now the king was sitting in the winter house in the ninth month, and there was a fire in the brazier burning before him. It happened when Jehudai had read three or four leaves, that the king cut it with the penknife, and cast it into the fire that was in the brazier, until all the scroll was consumed in the fire that was in the brazier. They were not afraid, nor tore their garments, neither the king nor any of his servants who heard all these words. Moreover, Elnathan, and Deliah, and Gemariah, had made intercession to the king that he would not burn the scroll, but he would not hear them. The king commanded Jeramiel, the king's son, and Sariah, the son of Azrael, and Shalamiah, the son of Abdeel, to take Baruch, the scribe, and Jeremiah, the prophet, but the Lord hid them. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, 
after that the king had burned the scroll, and the words which Baruch wrote at the mouth of Jeremiah, saying, Take again another scroll, and write in it all the former words that were in the first scroll, which Jehoiakim the king of Judah has burned. Concerning Jehoiakim king of Judah you shall say, Thus says the Lord, You have burned this scroll, saying, Why have you written therein, saying, The king of Babylon shall certainly come and destroy this land, and shall cause to cease from there man and animal? Therefore thus says the Lord concerning Jehoiakim king of Judah, He shall have none to sit on the throne of David, and his dead body shall be cast out in the day to the heat, and in the night to the frost. I will punish him and his seed and his servants for their iniquity, and I will bring on them, and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and on the men of Judah, all the evil that I have pronounced against them, but they didn't listen. Then Jeremiah took another scroll, and gave it to Baruch, the scribe, the son of Neriah, who wrote therein from the mouth of Jeremiah all the words of the book which Jehoiakim, king of Judah, had burned in the fire, and there were added besides to them many like words.